In this video, we're doing nice integral problems. We have the integral from 1 to e plus 1 of ln of x to the x all over x squared minus x. Add it with the integral from 0 to e of ln of x to the x all over x squared plus x. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay, so for the first integral, you see the bounds go from 1 to e plus 1. That is exactly 1 plus the other bounds from 0 to e. So let's let y equal x minus 1 so the bounds go subtract 1. dy will be dx. Solving for x, x will be y plus 1. So this is, so the first integral will equal from 0 to, the integral from 0 to e of ln of x, which is y plus 1, to the y plus 1, all over, okay, x squared minus x. You can factor out an x, that would be x times x minus 1. x minus 1 is y, and then x will be y plus 1. And then dy, add it with the same in integral bound, 0 to e of ln of x to the x, all over x squared plus x. Okay. So this y times y plus 1 is y squared plus y. And now we're going to do a simple substitution, let y go back to x. So now this will be the integral from 0 to e. And now you notice y squared plus y, when you turn it to x, is the same thing as x squared plus x. So we can just have one denominator, x squared plus x. And then we're going to have ln of x plus 1 times x plus 1 to the x plus 1 plus ln of x to the x all over x squared plus x. And then we can factor out the x again to make this easier to look at. Okay, so now we know ln of a to the b is b ln a. So this will be the integral from 0 to e of x plus 1 times ln of x plus 1. And then ln of x to the x is the same thing as x times ln x all over x times x plus 1 dx. Okay, so now you can split this one integral but two fractions. So the, in the first fraction you'll have this all over this and you see the x plus ones will cancel leaving us with ln of x plus one all over x and then you add it with the second fraction will be this over this the x's will cancel leaving us with ln x all over x plus one. Now the thing about this is this looks like this is the derivative ln of so this will be the integral from 0 to e of the derivative. So this is using a product rule, ln of x plus 1 times ln x dx. Because you have the first, which is ln of x plus 1, times the derivative of the second, which is 1 over x, plus the second, which is ln x, times the derivative of the first, which is derivative ln of x plus 1 is 1 over x plus 1. Okay, good. The integral of a derivative with bounds is the inside. And then what you're going to do is plug in the, the upper bound and the lower bound. So plugging in the upper bound first, because that's what you do, this will be ln of e plus 1 times ln of e, which is 1, minus. So now we have to use limits, because ln of 0 times ln of 1 is going to be a weird limit. So this will be the limit as x goes to 0 plus, or from the right, of ln of x times ln of x plus 1. Okay. So let's look at the limit as x goes to 0 from the right, ln x times ln of x plus 1. Okay, we're going to let L be, okay, so not e to the x, so we're going to, L will be ln of x plus 1. So now we have to solve for x, so x plus 1 will be e to the L, or x can be defined as e to the L minus 1. Now why can't we just solve this directly, because plugging in 0 plus, you get ln of 0 plus, which is minus infinity, times ln of 1, which is 0. So you can't use this. So now plugging this stuff in, you get the limit in terms of L. So as x goes from 0 to the right, L will go to ln of 1 from the right, which is 0 plus. Okay, so we get ln of x, which is e to the L minus 1, times ln of x plus 1, which is now L. Okay, still plugging in 0 plus, you get 0 plus, 0 plus times ln 
of e to the 0 plus, which is e to the 0, which is 1 minus 1, which is 0, so you can't use this still. Okay. So now this will be the limit as l goes to 0 plus. We'll keep ln of e to the l minus 1 on the top all over 1 over l on the bottom. So now on the top we'll go to ln of 0 plus, which is minus infinity, all over 1 over 0 plus, which is defined to be infinity. So now we can use Lopatel's rule. This will be the limit as l goes to 0 plus. Now if you don't mind, I'm, I'm going to keep the variable in l, so we're going to have to do derivatives with l. So the top derivative will be e to the l, because the derivative e to the l minus 1 is just e to the l all over e to the l minus 1 all over minus 1 over l squared. Okay, we can take the negative out, so we don't have to worry about it, and then we can multiply top and bottom by l squared. Now, the bottom stuff will cancel, leaving us with minus 1 times the limit as, x, as l, sorry, goes to 0 plus of l squared times e to the l all over e to the l minus 1. So this is weird to look at, but what you can really notice is that you can subtract 1 on, on the top and then add 1, and then group. Okay, so we have minus 1 times the limit, l goes to 0 plus, okay, e to the l minus 1, this is a fraction, all over e to the l minus 1, that would just be 1, times l squared, which is l squared, plus, then we're going to have l squared on the top, all over e to the l minus 1, as this goes to 0, l squared goes to 0. So now we have to worry about this limit. So on the top, it'll go to 0. On the bottom, you go to e to the 0, which is 1, minus 1 is 0. We can do the derivative again. Okay. This, so the derivative l squared with respect to l is 2l, and e to the l minus 1, the derivative will be e to the l. Now, don't do 0 over 0. Plug, in, plug it in first to check. So this will be 0 plus will be 2 times 0, which is 0, all over e to the 0. So we have minus sign, but that's defined to be 0, because e to the 0 is 1, 0 over anything that's not 0 is 0. Okay, so this is 0, which means the answer is ln of e plus 1. And that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it, and thanks for watching.